Now, time for a GB News exclusive. Our Home and Security editor, Mark White, can reveal that channel migrant crossings have increased by 40% this year. This as criminal gangs launch fewer boats but more frequently in a surprising new tactic. Yes, sources have said that gangs are pushing fewer boats more often to avoid French beach patrols, which has resulted in a fortnight of low-level migrant activity with boats launching from the French coast. Meanwhile, today it's been reported that Britain has taken 50 migrants from Ireland, just months before Rishi Sunak said he refused to accept any, following this row we've been having with Dublin. But joining us now is Mark White, our Home and Security Editor. And Mark, just explain for us what this precisely means, this change of tactics. Fewer boats more regularly. Well, what we're used to with the Channel People Smugglers is really uh, big record crossings on the flat cam days. They had a tactic, and, and probably still do have that tactic as well, of pushing out very large numbers of boats, about a dozen at least, from the beaches of northern France, uh, really just to overwhelm the police security patrols on the beaches there and to ensure that the majority of those boats make it into the water with a view to then trying to reach the UK. What we've observed now really uh, over the past 12 days since the 4th of May has been fewer numbers and we're talking really one, two, three boats maximum but every day uh, since the 4th of May. And that all adds up, uh, even though we're only talking uh, 100 or less each throw. It's still 1,250 migrants that have crossed the English Channel uh, in that period of 12 days. And that all adds up to showing that the total so far this year is now at 9,550, which is 40 percent higher than where we were at this point last year. Now, the reason that percentage figure is significant is because, remember, last year the government was trumpeting just how well they were doing in managing the small boats crisis and telling us that they had reduced small boat crossings, uh, the number of migrants crossing by 36 percent over last year. Well, this 40 percent increase just this year now completely reverses and then some uh, all the good work that the government says was down to their stop the boats policy. Yes, Mark, they do continue to trot out that line that they've had this reduction, but uh, the facts fly in the face of that. Um, Mark, so this new tactic, um, it seems a little more advanced, is that fair to say? Yeah, it seems to be a bit more nuanced. Um, the sources we've been speaking to are suggesting that what they're doing here is trying to throw off the authorities uh, by launching on days that they normally wouldn't launch on because the weather conditions are just a bit too choppy in the channel. Uh, but they seem to still be pushing out boats in these days that the authorities are not expecting boats to launch. And by doing that, and only two or three at a time spread out over a very wide area, it seems to, thus far at least, be quite a successful tactic. As always with these uh, people smuggling tactics, they evolve and the authorities will catch up uh, and that will force the people smugglers to change tactics and evolve once again. But for the moment, what we're seeing is this tactic of pushing out much fewer uh, numbers of boats uh, over uh, a much uh, more protracted uh, period of time. So much more frequently, but smaller numbers of boats, which, as I say, mm. uh, over a period of time still adds up uh, to giving us a very significant increase on last year. Which all in and of itself increases the danger, increases the risk that people will get hit by a big wave in choppy water, frankly, will drown making this treacherous journey. Yeah, absolutely. You put your finger right on the mark there, Tom. This is what 
the uh, sources we've been speaking to have told us that there's some real concern now. Remember, we've already had 14 lives lost in the English Channel in a number of separate incidents involving migrant boats since the beginning of this year. But the real concern is now that the tactic appears to involve trying to push out on days when they feel that the authorities won't be expecting launches. The upshot of that is these days are much more dangerous mm -hmm. to try and cross and then the potential for a boat, these flimsy boats that are overcrowded, the potential for them to run into trouble is of course that much more uh, acute. And there's been some curious changes in the makeup of who's crossing the channel in these boats. Uh, a few weeks ago, it appeared as though the Vietnamese were a huge proportion, perhaps even the top proportion of people. Do we have any update of the makeup of where these people are coming from? Yeah, they are still in that um, top per percentage in terms of those on the boats, the nationalities on the boats. It's Vietnamese. And indeed, the government is using that as the, the reason they say uh, for the increase in small boat arrivals this year, the migrants' arrivals, is because the people smugglers, according to the government, have tapped in to the Vietnamese market in quite a significant way encouraging them to come across. There is some truth to that, uh, I think, but clearly the numbers are just up very significantly anyway, regardless of the Vietnamese proportion of that. There's another interesting point in this I think that's worth exploring, which is the other nationalities represented are from countries like Iran and Syria uh, and Afghanistan. Uh, the big percentage of those crossing are from those countries. Now, you have the Labour uh, Party and the government, if it does get elected, saying that they're going to scrap Rwanda. But of course, a big part of Rwanda is offering the British government that third country option mm. to send people to that they can't send back to the likes of Afghanistan, Syria and Iraq. Yes, of course. Mm. There will be no returns agreement with those uh, countries has to be a third party agreement, mm. at least under yeah. this plan. Quite extraordinary how the authorities are just so many steps behind. These new tactics seem to take them by surprise. Uh, but Mark, really great to speak to you. Thanks for that exclusive. GB News Home and Security Editor, of course, Mark White. Really extraordinary that uh, Vietnam is that top country. Of course, it's a country with many problems in and of itself, but it's a member of the CPTPP. It's mm. got lots of foreign direct investment, particularly from the Americans now uh, as a sort of counterweight to China in the region. It's a growing and developing country. It's not the country with that's, that's torn by war or anything. Well, it's criminality, it's isn't it? Probably motivated by... The